Traveling is an adventure filled with surprises. One of those surprises is the unexpected rudeness you might encounter. Did you know that France, known for romantic charm, is considered one of the top 10 rudest countries? Let's dive into this intriguing aspect of travel. We often visualize beautiful sceneries, delectable dishes, and vibrant cultures. However, the possibility of encountering rudeness is usually not on our list. Today, we're shining a light on this lesser-known facet of travel. We'll guide you through the top 10 countries that have unfortunately gained a reputation for their less-than-warm welcome. Our ranking considers a variety of factors such as tourist experiences, cultural norms, and the overall demeanor of the locals. Remember, our aim isn't to promote negativity or stereotype, but to highlight an aspect of traveling that is often ignored. So, fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this worldwide exploration of rudeness. At the edge of our countdown, standing tall at number 10, we have France. A land of decadent cuisine, world-class art, and iconic landmarks, France embodies the dreams of many a wanderlust-filled soul. Yet, for some, the dream meets a harsh reality. The locals, they discover, are not as hospitable as they'd hoped. The inability to speak the local language is a significant barrier in this regard. Unlike most places around the world where English suffices, a fundamental French vocabulary is often a prerequisite here leading unforeseen misunderstandings and a perception of rudeness. Cultural nuances too add to the confusion. French social norms and perceptions of personal space differ significantly, often being misinterpreted as aloof behavior by outsiders. An unusual phenomenon that adds to this mix is the Paris Syndrome, a form of culture shock mainly experienced by Japanese tourists, who find the city of love falling short of their high-flown romantic expectations. Despite its captivating charm and undeniable beauty, France, unfortunately, leaves some visitors with a sour aftertaste. Moving on to number 9, we have Russia. A country steeped in history and culture, Russia may often seem like a hard nut to crack. Often perceived as cold and unfriendly, the Russian demeanor can come across as rude to unsuspecting visitors. A significant reason for this is the lack of smiling. Unlike in many Western cultures where smiling is a common courtesy, in Russia, it is often reserved for genuine moments of happiness. Next, the language barrier plays a significant role. Russian is a complex language and English is not widely spoken, especially outside the major cities. This can lead to misunderstandings and perceived rudeness. Additionally, the direct and straightforward Russian communication style can often be mistaken for rudeness. They value sincerity and honesty over polite small talk. Despite these cultural nuances, it's important to remember that rudeness is subjective and often a result of cultural differences. While the Russian landscape is breathtaking, the people can sometimes be less welcoming. At number 8, we have the United Kingdom. The UK is a fascinating blend of history, tradition, and modernity, but it's also a place where the line between wit and rudeness can sometimes get a bit blurry. The Brits are known for their dry humor, which can often be misinterpreted as rudeness by those unaccustomed to their unique brand of wit. It's an integral part of their culture, a byproduct of their love for wordplay and sarcasm. Another contributing factor is their direct communication style. Brits value honesty and transparency, which can sometimes come off as blunt or even harsh. They're not afraid to voice their opinions or engage in a heated debate, whether it's politics, football, or the weather. And speaking of the weather, complaining is almost a national pastime in the UK. It's not meant to be negative but rather a way of breaking the ice and connecting with others. So while the Brits may be famous for their manners, they also have a reputation for being a bit rude. Coming in at number 7 is Germany. Now don't get us wrong, Germans are known for their efficiency, precision, and their world-class beer. But, sometimes, this efficiency can be a double-edged sword. Germans value directness, which can often be mistaken for rudeness by those unaccustomed to their straightforward approach. They tend not to beat around the bush, and small talk isn't a common part of their culture. If you've ever been to a German supermarket, you'll know that there's no time for a friendly chat with the cashier. It's all about getting in, getting your groceries, and getting out. Another aspect that might be perceived as rude is Germany's strict adherence to rules. If you've ever jaywalked in Germany, you've probably been on the receiving end of some stern looks. While these cultural norms are all about maintaining order and efficiency, they can sometimes come across as rudeness to outsiders. Next on our list at number 6, we have China. 
Now, this isn't about pointing fingers, but rather shedding light on cultural differences that can sometimes come across as rude to outsiders. For instance, the concept of personal space in China is vastly different than in many Western countries. It's not uncommon to find yourself shoulder to shoulder with strangers in a crowded bus or a bustling market. Then there's the matter of public etiquette. Spitting in public, a habit often seen as grossly impolite in many parts of the world, is fairly common in China. And let's not forget the loud talking. The volume of conversation can be quite startling to the uninitiated. It's not that they're angry or arguing, it's just their way of communicating. However, it's important to remember that what's considered rude is often a matter of perspective. In China, these behaviors are part of everyday life, not meant to offend. In China, what's considered rude can be a matter of cultural perspective. Halfway through our list at number five, we have the United States. Often seen as the land of opportunity and freedom, the United States holds a reputation for its individualistic culture. This focus on individualism, while empowering, can sometimes be interpreted as self-centeredness. The American ethos of pulling oneself up by their bootstraps may exude a sense of disregard for others, making some outsiders feel less welcomed. Another factor contributing to the perception of rudeness is the country's ingrained tipping culture. This practice can be vexing for tourists who are unfamiliar with it and may interpret it as a form of greed. Moreover, Americans are often stereotyped as being loud and boisterous, a trait that can be seen as disrespectful in more reserved cultures. Whether it's through their animated conversations or their larger-than-life sports events, this characteristic can often be mistaken for rudeness. The land of the free is also a land where some find rudeness. Down under at number four, we have Australia. Now before you get your knickers in a knot, let's clarify something. Aussies are known for their laid-back approach to life and generally friendly demeanor. But the distinctive Australian slang, abundant sarcasm, and a penchant for directness can sometimes be misinterpreted as rudeness. Let's start with the slang. Australian English is peppered with colorful idioms and phrases that can be perplexing, even to native English speakers. A friendly g'day mate might be easily understood, but when someone tells you they're flat out like a lizard drinking, you might be left scratching your head. Australians also have a rich tradition of sarcasm and self-deprecating humor. But if you're not in on the joke, this can come off as abrasive or even disrespectful. And let's not forget their directness. Australians value honesty, but their candidness can sometimes be seen as blunt or tactless. Aussies may be laid back, but their communication style can sometimes be seen as rude. Taking the bronze medal for rudeness, we have Italy at number three. Italy, the land of the Renaissance, pasta and fine wines, isn't all sunshine and rainbows, especially when it comes to the locals' behavior towards tourists. A common grievance among visitors is the blatant disregard for cues. Whether at the gelato stand or a museum entrance, Italians seem to have an aversion to orderly lines. The first come, first serve rule doesn't quite translate here. Then there's the loudness. Conversations, even casual ones, often reach decibel levels that could rival a rock concert. This can be quite jarring for the unprepared tourist who might mistake the passionate banter for an argument. Finally, there's a perceived unfriendliness towards tourists. This isn't universal, of course, but enough visitors have reported feeling unwelcome or ignored to warrant mention. In Italy, the beautiful scenery may distract you from the rudeness. Just missing the top spot at number two is India. This vibrant country, known for its diverse cultures, colorful festivals, and rich history, is also infamous for its unique social norms that can be a bit off-putting for unprepared travelers. Personal space is a concept that is often lost in India's densely populated cities. It's not unusual to be jostled or bumped into, especially in crowded places like markets or train stations. This can be unsettling if you're not used to it, but it's just a part of everyday life in India. Then there's the haggling culture. In many parts of India, negotiating prices is not just expected, it's a way of life. This can be overwhelming and even feel disrespectful for those not used to such aggressive bargaining. And let's not forget the staring. It's not uncommon to find yourself the subject of curious gazes. While it's usually harmless curiosity, it can feel intrusive and rude to outsiders. India's rich culture is a feast for the senses, but it can also be a shock to the system. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The rudest country in the world is South Korea. This might come as a surprise, considering South Korea's global image as a hub for technology and pop culture. However, it's the high expectations for social etiquette that often give foreigners the impression of rudeness. 
In South Korea, manners matter, and failing to adhere to these unspoken rules can earn you some icy glares. Another contributing factor is the perceived unfriendliness towards foreigners. While it's not universal, some visitors have reported feeling unwelcomed or alienated during their stay. This is often attributed to the cultural gap and language barrier, which can make communication difficult and interactions uncomfortable. But let's not forget, rudeness is subjective and largely influenced by cultural differences and personal experiences. So while South Korea tops our list today, it's important to approach each visit to a new country with an open mind. Despite its technological advancements and cultural exports, South Korea takes the crown as the rudest country. That's it for our countdown of the top 10 rudest countries, folks. If you found our list insightful, or if it sparked your curiosity, be sure to hit that like button. We're interested in hearing about your favorite places and your experiences, both good and bad. So, don't hold back. Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to stay updated with more content like this, consider subscribing to our channel. We've got plenty more travel-related content coming your way. Thanks for watching, and remember, travel is all about embracing different cultures and experiences. Until next time, safe travels.